Hello. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, within the last week or so, there's been some developments regarding 20th Century Fox. Um, now, last year, um, at the end of the year, um, if I can recall correctly, <clears throat> Disney made a bid to buy 20th Century Fox, or 21st Century Fox, whatever. Um, Whatever the official banner or title is, even though everybody sees 20th Century Fox on every film that's released through that studio, and every TV show that's released through that studio. Anyway, um, last year, they, uh, uh, Fox was, I guess, approached with a deal by uh, Disney to buy or to be bought by them for four billion dollars, which I seem to be a, a fairly re, uh, a common tr uh, trend with Disney when buying companies. Marvel Studios bought for four billion dollars, or about that. Same price for Pixar, and same price for you know Lucasfilm. Now all these companies that they bought were actually very independent. Um, Disney, though, distributed every single uh, Pixar film, which, in a way, sort of a no-brainer in that they bought that. But then when they bought Marvel, it was kind of like, hmm, wow. You know, who would have who would have thought that? Who would have seen that coming? Um, and then they bought uh, Lucasfilm. Uh, Bob Iger and George Lucas were friends for years, so I guess in that way uh, it's not really a surprise, but at the same time, it pretty much was. Um, now, uh, regarding 20th Century Fox, many people are for this because, well, you know, Fox owns X-Men and Fantastic Four, and Marvel's done a very good job with the Marvel characters they have. Also, they've made a deal with Sony so they could bring Spider-Man in. Even though Sony will also retain the rights to Spider-Man and continue making their film, their Spider-Man films the way they want to. Um, but, yeah. So, there's that. Um, but I guess instead of uh, doing some sort of deal for with Fox to possibly bring X-Men over into the Avengers, because the X-Men have been in the Avengers, as have Fantastic Four. But, uh, still, while I can see that being a good thing, at the same time, there is a negative, because it's like, well, how, how would you want to see the way things change? I mean, Logan was a great film, right? People love that movie. That seems to be the general consensus. It was a, it was a very good movie, uh, at the very least, by people. I've heard, at least by the majority it's a great film, a good film, whatever. Um, it was a, it was one of my favorite films of last year. Um, Deadpool, Deadpool's part of X Men, so Deadpool will be then part of, would be owned by Disney. Um, and while they said, "Well, we won't," you know, we would never change Deadpool or make anything like that. You know, they made uh, promises to George Lucas when purchasing Lucasfilm that uh, his stories, his outlines would be followed through and he could be, could help develop those stories further with a screenwriter and then he'd be a creative consultant. Well, as we all know, that didn't pan out. Um, so how true to their word would they be with regarding, like, Deadpool and X-Men now? I don't know. And, um, uh, Hugh Jackman, even though he did say that he wouldn't, you know, he was essentially done with, uh, Logan, as being Wolverine, he would be done with, after Logan. He did say he would be optimistic if in a Deadpool film, or if ever there was some sort of crossover, like Fox and Disney made some sort of deal, so... X-Men could be in the Avengers, he would 
consider being or being Wolverine again in a cameo in either Avengers or Deadpool. Uh, because Logan, the good thing with Logan is you can put Logan as part of the X-Men franchise, but it could be possibly at the fairly at the very end or close to the end because it's set in the future, a dystopian future, um, in a sense, at least regarding X-Men. <clears throat> I guess as much of a dystopian future as that franchise could ever be. But, you know... Okay, fine. Um, and it, and this could all... And him being an X-Men... Or any more X-Men films, like a cameo or in a Deadpool film or Avengers. This could all happen before Logan. You know, Logan's is... You know, was his last hurrah. And I think it's a great film to go out on. If this is, that was the last time we'll ever see Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Now I say all this because... Apparently, there was a statement by Hugh Jackman. I saw some various sources. I, it was some time ago, and I, if I find any, I will, I will put them in the description. But if I can't, you know, so many stuff with X Men and Logan and Hugh Jackman that it'd be like you know, so many of those articles nowadays, especially during this whole Disney Fox uh, merger, apparently that happened back then and even now, uh, you know, it, there's so much new stuff that's come out that uh, a lot of articles, yeah, some of those articles aren't close to being up front anymore, like if you Google it. So, uh, basically, but basically this quote from Hugh Jackman was this. You know, he said in the past how if it could be X Men, could be in the Avengers. He would consider being in. He'd be Wolverine again for like a cameo or something, or if there was a cameo for Deadpool, he'd he'd consider having a cameo in that franchise as well. Well, it's part of the X Men franchise, but you know what I mean, be part of in that film series. But he apparently, when word came about. Uh, that Fox was going to be bought by Disney, and they'd merge. Uh, people, reporters, here calling his comments regarding that kind of topic. They asked him about it, and I guess, and essentially he said, if Disney buys Fox, I will never be Wolverine again. Essentially saying, no. In his mind, it doesn't seem like a good idea. I have not seen it anything of him or anything <clears throat> since late last year of him ever changing his mind at least in another statement like that or kind of recanting or saying he's changed his mind in any way but basically you can essentially <clears throat> basically say Hugh Jackman will never be Wolverine ever again if Fox is bought by Disney and granted he's in his uh, I believe in his 50s now. So, you know, he would be, it would be hard for him to get fairly fit like he has been for Wolverine. Um, but I'm sure if uh, the right kind of part for that character or film with that character in it, even as a cameo or whatever, came along, I'm sure he'd want to. But if I guess to him, if Disney buys it, he's, that's a no-go for him. He won't be in it. Now, um, all of this out there, apparently there's new developments that, uh, I believe last week, Comcast apparently uh, offered a lot more, like I think, I'm going to do a quick Google search. So, uh, you know, yeah, I gotta just re- I just continue to cite the websites, uh, so, basically, uh,
what Comcast did was they offered $65 billion in cash. Well, then Disney came back and said, we'll, 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 we'll give, we'll give Fox, uh, 71.3 billion in cash and stock, which would be a 36% increase over its original $52.4 billion bid. So, basically, now it's a bidding war. They want, both want it. Now, um, last year, I recall, the government came in and just as finalization apparently was near with Disney and Fox, like paperwork was being drawn up and it's close to signing off on it, the government came in and put a stop to that, put a hold on that, and they were going to investigate this whole thing. Essentially, I believe they don't want Disney to become a monopoly. And understandably so. Disney owns so many companies, have so many divisions, it's just it's ridiculous. They're like the king and empire of all film studios, television studios, ever. And they own TV stations. ABC is owned by Disney. So, yeah. I mean, they, they, they are huge. And Fox is a is a studio that is competition for them. Now, um, I will say, outside of X Men and Fantastic Four, which some say is a good reason for them wanting, for Disney wanting to own Fox. Another reason is, Fox owns the complete rights to the original Star Wars film, Episode Four. A New Hope, 1977, the, that film. George Lucas just got the rights to the sequels and anything else he made, so he owned the sequels to that, that film. He owned the prequels. But Fox always owned the theatrical and home video distribution. Now, whenever Star Wars ever comes to a complete end, I'm not, I don't believe that will happen with Episode Nine. I'm sure they'll make 12, since Star Wars was originally set, seen as a serial, a throwback to those 1930s, 40s serials, like with Buck Rogers and <clears throat> Flash Gordon. So I'm sure we'll have three more episodes after Nine um, at some point. But there's like discussion, like, well, because they own... Fox owns that, they're going to have to make some sort of deal with Disney. So they get a good amount of profits for everybody. Well, uh, if Fox owns, if Fox is bought by Disney, well, eh, they don't own it. They don't own all of it. And, um, <clears throat> I just don't think Disney needs to own every studio or every company or whatever. They don't need to own Fox. And I don't know if Comcast really doesn't need to own Fox either. Fox should just be alone. Because also remember, uh, the Alien franchise and the Predator franchise are all <clears throat> owned by Fox. There's other, you know, there's other great films and uh, franchises um, owned by that, but those are just two other notable ones. Since I guess Star Wars is science fiction and whatnot, and I guess even comic book films like X Men kind of are <clears throat> sort of science fiction in nature. So there you go. There's other franchises that Fox owns. Would you want to ha see any future installments from those films? franchises to be owned by Disney, and Disney might have some sort of hand in the making of uh, the films. I mean, they have a hand in Star Wars, and people aren't that fond of how the new Star Wars films are. Um, 
at least episode wise people don't seem to be as super critical with um, the anthology films the spin-offs but though then again that could be because it's not they're not exactly part of the main story um, at least not directly I mean yeah they tie into the main Star Wars story but you know, not called episode blank but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't exactly want that to happen. I, I, I don't want Disney to own it. But and then with Comcast now trying to bid it, and apparently now they're trying to bid even higher, and it's now this big bidding war. Uh, apparently, yeah, uh, apparently Comcast is now going to counter Disney's latest offer for Fox. Just leave Fox alone. Let them do their thing. Disney for in terms of Star Wars or any sort of thing with a possible future crossover with X Men and or event uh, and or Fantastic Four with the Avengers make some sort of deal. They've been doing fine with the X Men type franchises of late with Logan and the Deadpool films. I still not seen Deadpool two. Hope to do that soon, but I don't know if that will happen. But, you know, at least not, I don't, yeah, I don't know if that will happen, or I might wind up just getting it on Blu-ray. Because um, that could be um, so much stuff going on right now, and um, a lot of movies are coming out, too, all at the same time anymore. Yeah, I don't know. But basically, they, the Deadpool's a huge success, Logan was a success. In terms of X-Men, perhaps they've gotten things back on track. You know, some of the last few X-Men films before Logan, uh, it's been said that they weren't that great, but I haven't seen those films, really. Uh, last X-Men X -Men film before Logan was, I saw was First Class. Uh, but I don't know, there's so many movies that come out every year, got to pick and choose. Um, now, yes, basically I think... 20th Century Fox should stay 20th Century Fox and owned by them. Do not continue to try and sign this over because also, uh, and some say, well, we're in the, they're in the closing stages now. Like, well, okay, be that as it may, I remember when F Disney and Fox were in closing stages of that original deal, the government came in and put a hold on that. Who's to say that won't happen again with Disney and or Comcast or both? Yeah. Or both. Yeah. I guess that kind of... But well, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, also, I didn't hear anything of this hold that government had of Disney and Fox's merger coming to an end or being suspended. Last I knew, they were still going to investigate it, or were in the process, or something of the sort. No news ever came forward that they they stopped that. So I don't know what's happening there, but you know. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the whole fox being eyed to get. Bought by Comcast and Disney. I don't think uh, it should happen for either. Um, maybe Comcast would be a better uh, company to be owned by between the two. I guess I don't know. There's just there's a lot of whole lot of factors and stuff going on. It's just so. It's very, it's odd. Maybe it's not odd exactly, but it's just so, it's a bit exhausting to say the least. Um, so there's that. Um, I will leave this article uh, about Comcast's latest countered offered to, uh, to Fox 
to find any of the other articles I mentioned of some of the stuff I've seen. Put that in the description as well. But if not, well, I went from memory. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe you agree with me, and it's not a good decision for Disney to be bought by Fox or Comcast to be bought by Fox. Or maybe you think it is a good thing for either one to buy Fox. Either way, uh, hope you all have a good day and a good week. See you all next time.